Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Don't panic, this is not a car washing video. Um, and what requires badly in need of a good cleaning. And once that's done, I'm gonna head down, big long walk, which I don't do very often, but a big long walk down to the beach. A spot that I've been planning to go into for ages, but I've always been put off by the heat. <laughs> So, so hope you enjoy. Ta-da! Now, I have to admit, it, it took me a while to figure out how to use it. I put my three euro in, thinking it was a start. Didn't, there's no, how much does it cost or anything here? And it didn't start. So then I thought I must need more money, I went inside to get more money, came back out and just as I looked at it, I realised that wasn't lit, that blue one, there are actually buttons and you follow the chart, oh my god. I can be very stupid at times, just through not thinking, never used to be like that. So all, all this not having to work, it's making me go a bit daft. But car, lovely and clean. Right, go and park the car. Big long walk ahead. 50 minutes to where I'm going. Onward and upward. Oh, flip, you wouldn't believe what I did. I came out of the apartment, filmed myself walking out, told a wee story, and two or three occasions walking to here, which is about a half an hour. And just realized I had the setting wrong in the camera. Oh, loads and loads of stuff I talked about. All, all gone. Anyway, so that river which flows down to the sea, on the other side of it there is a road. And if you follow the road along and right away on up a bit another half a mile, that's where my apartment is. That's where I sit with the dogs on the wee wall. That river's behind me. I didn't realise it was so big. And I'm heading to here. Now, I'm going to go this way because that way brings you down to a, a wee bit that juts out in its own, but there's nothing there. So I can't believe I did that. <laughs> The weather's really nice. It's warm, but not boiling. Nice breeze. So I've wondered what's the weather going to be like as I approach the, the end of the year. Um, this is October, start of October. Um, that boiling heat has definitely left, but still humid at night. And on sunny days, which are see, at the minute it's about 50% of the days sunny. It's like this, it's nice and warm, nice comfortable temperature, I think it's 25 today. And when it's overcast, it's it's just a nice temperature, but certainly not hot. And I've had a few wee chills early evening and things, but weather's still really good for October. There's a wee friend again. I know it's not the same one, you know. The apartment complex last week, one day, I noticed all the sunbathing chairs were all stacked up at the gate and it dawned on me to close for the winter, I hadn't realised it. I'm always talking about Thailand, but in Thailand obviously they never close because it's warm all year. So we didn't lock it. Now I've been in the pool practically every day and I was thinking to myself, I wonder could I do it right through the whole of the winter, every day, once a day. Even now, the pool is freezing cold when you jump into it, it's a bit of a shock. But you get used to it pretty quick. It was 
thinking I could maybe do that right through to the winter. Anyway, that made me realize they're gonna lock the gate. Got a text message yesterday morning. Everybody did, obviously. Who's locked? And then this morning, got another text message. I don't know if this one was just sent to me. If you do want to go into the pool, just ask and we'll give you the key. So I don't know how long that will go on for, but that's great news. That's what I'll do when I go back today. But yeah, I'm going to try and do it right through the winter, every day, if it doesn't give me a heart attack. <laughs> when I was young, I loved places like that in Spain. I would go in there and hunt around and climb trees. I feel like doing it now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. I did. I went off piste, as they say. Walking in the same direction. I think I have about three or four hundred meters to go. I can just about see the sea in the distance. Yeah, well, that's no surprise. never walked as much in my life as I've walked since I got to Spain. Never used to like walking. It's a lovely spot. You see, if I had come down, I knew this, if I had come down here a month ago, the heat would have just took the edge off it. It's just perfect today. So nice. A couple of videos ago, I talked about the smell in the apartment, food from next door, and I'll, I'll put a link, where's the link, is it there, is it there, it's there, and um, I'll have an update. So, with apparently nothing I could really do about it, I couldn't even complain, I went to bed the evening that I uploaded that video, and oh! Fork. Right, you pick left or right. Right? Okay. So yeah, I went to bed and I was thinking to myself, okay, so there's a smell, but why is it so strong? How's it getting into my apartment? I hadn't really thought about that. Even if they're cooking food that's got a strong smell, it can't be that overwhelming. There must be something wrong with the apartment. So I get out of bed. This was like two o'clock in the morning. And because of the air conditioning, there's lowered ceilings, which had ties and higher ceilings and the ductwork works away around. I'm not get complicated, but I know it all now, I understand it. But I lifted the ties and there's big holes bang through to the next doors apartment and the next day when I was up looking at it again I realized that's their kitchen so it's coming through into the void above the tiles which comes in two different places in the apartment and then there's a big air conditioning box up there when you turn on your air conditioning or they turn on theirs that sucks and blows air so I then decided I would go and speak to the manager because um, I could never have complained about the people and their cooking. It's not that they're going to cook, they're going to cook. But I can complain if I think it's just the, the structure of the building that's causing the problem. And, and I went down to him and he said, oh, right, right. And I realised that he knew about it. And actually, whenever I was up looking in the void, you can see somebody had tried to patch one of the holes. So he says, yeah, we'll get somebody to go and look at it. And it never happened. So I have decided to fix it myself. Hence, that I bought this stuff that I'm going to show you, which I haven't got with me. And I'm going to fill all the holes and see what happens. So isn't that good news? Hopefully. They are naked. <laughs> I just realised. 
Oh, I didn't realize you just seen. It's a nudist beach. People sitting there with no clothes on. I look left and there's a few with no clothes on. I look right and there's people with clothes on. We'll go right. <laughs> It's a bit windy, I hope it's not affecting the sound. We walk in the water. There's a dog on the no dog beach. You see I would have took the risk and brought my dogs onto one of these beaches too if I hadn't got told off by the police. They actually took my details so I can't be caught again. No nudists up this way, thank God. Now, bit of news. My dad at home, dad's getting on a bit, he's very eight, and he's always driven. But he's had a few experiences recently and he decided to stop. So he had asked me to do an advert for him for selling the car and whatever, but it turned out it's got quite complicated. It's a struggle for him. So I've decided to go back for a week. I was thinking of doing it at Christmas, but I want to go back. I have to admit to stop in there, people were walking past me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go back and I went on last night and I booked flights for, this is Wednesday and I booked the flight for next Tuesday, car hire in Belfast and I'm going to sell this car, he has to, his car has to go through the MOT as well next week. So I'm going to do all that for him and visit a few friends. So that's a wee bit of something to look forward to. Cold, freezing cold weather, car selling. <laughs> but that was too difficult for my dad. I'm not sure if I'll get as far as actually getting it sold, but as long as it's all organized and arranged. So booking the flights. It's a double flight going home, stop off in England. Um, transfer in England and a straight flight back. It was all for about 90 pounds, which is great. And then car hire. 19 pounds a day which is great 
and then while I was on I just decided to have a look and see how much car hire would be at Christmas and it's 97 a day that was the cheapest I could get 97 a day is a terrible that's December right through December and um, that's what happens prices just get shot up for everything um, also I was thinking about maybe going to Thailand for a couple of weeks and all the prices there have doubled anyway that must be the same as a lot of long distance flights after Covid but they're almost double so I, where I usually pay about 450 around 450 I've never paid more than 470 and um, the cheapest I could get was 870 and that's for like that was before I decided to go to my dad's that's for a few weeks time Christmas way up over 1200 terrible way to take advantage whenever they know I suppose that's business so folks have about half an hour walk today I'm nagger not used to walking um, thoroughly enjoyed today I hope you enjoyed watching the video uh, I don't know if I'll be making one before I go back home or if I'll make one when I'm going home or at home but we'll see hope you enjoyed the video if you did subscribe would be brilliant a thumbs up would be brilliant and I'd love to hear your comments oh, but until next time bye for now